stay really hydrated while you're in here because it's like a sauna. I mean, you've seen the Ghost Adventures episode, so, uh, so there's your. We just mostly saw the uh, apparition or the. Uh, I guess you for a thermal. Correct. Yeah. Restroom, major break in areas, they come up here and try to take the, the stone. It's that thick of granite and stone. Uh, so. Yeah, these are all just offices, restrooms, another office. We've tried to mark it. Hello. We've tried to mark everything best we could. Now yeah, I have a wall of pigeon up here. Just got a crash on it, just so you know. A big pigeon? A mother pigeon. A mother pigeon. Yeah. Don't look like they're too happy either. That's just a little, uh, small. Swiss, Swiss, small, very tall. They'll get out here in just a minute. But she's up here in the corner. She doesn't bother anything. I'm going to die laughing when I'm <laughs> on your head, but no. <laughs> yeah, I know you will. <laughs> so, this is all you're ready to do. Okay. We've marked these because at night, you can't don't see, see them. You don't see them. Best we could. Yeah, there was like not it. much you could do about cleaning this. No, no. no. I had not heard nothing. Now, the floor that we're, I'm going to take you to upstairs is really kind of hinky. So you just need to kind of watch yourself. Okay. Stay in groups. Okay. What are some of these we don't know? Or? Well, it, when you get back and you go online, there's really no documents on what these rooms are. Now, we know this right here is a capacity room. But other than that, it seems like we're placing a capacity room. That's your area. That's a pretty good hot spot, but, you know, it, it seems like whenever we're actually in here, just us doing it, we chase whatever it is. <laughs> like from room to room to room. It could be a lot of coffee. That goes too. True. But this is actual control. Out here. Oh, that's cool. This is all in the area. Another thing I'm going to ask is over here. There's nothing there. There's a reason to go down, but somebody can hear us. Yeah. It is, that's it. It is what it is. Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. These are all windows. Stairway to nothing. Stairway to nothing. Yes, stairway to nothing. But you can see where everything went through here. This is a good shot. No, no. Bird guy. Everybody grabs with a follow up. This is all your area. Yeah. This window's clean. Hey guys, I'm Doyle with Southern Paranormal. We are at Hell's Bar Dam. We have had a few little setbacks today and we're getting started a little bit late. But um, we're here with Jordan and uh, Mark. She's going to tell us a little bit about the location and some of the hauntings in it. Uh, when was it built, actually? Um, construction started in the 1930s and with a private company, and then TVA took it over in the 40s. And have you had any experiences in the location? Um, yes, there's been a lot of crazy stuff happening there. Really? Get, um, a lot of readings on the K2 meters, a lot of noises, unexplained noises. And I've seen some video that had looked like almost an apparition down in the tunnels that Dr. Jim had showed me on it that they had recorded, I think. Holy sh... What's the...
Holy sh... We took a tour of the day through it, mm -hmm. and the tunnels, and I think the, was it the second floor is the most active? Yeah, the second floor is really yeah. very active. You know, and there's a whirlpool that's in the bottom on the first floor, or yes. second floor maybe. And what is what is the legend of the whirlpool? Um, the, the Indians that owned the land before the building of the dam started, they mm -hmm. believed that it was the portal for the spirits to come back and forth where they would speak with their ancestors and stuff. They would come through the whirlpool in the river and speak and kind of give their, their take on what was going on and give advice and stuff. And what I thought was really interesting, y'all said the whirlpool has not been there. No, it comes and goes a lot. And sometimes it's been, you see it and sometimes you don't. And we haven't seen it in about three months. Until Southern Paranormal shows up. Right? So of you, course. Guys are, you guys are the catalyst here. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. Um, what are, you know, some of the is there a uh, lady's name of Linda, maybe, or something like that? Um, yeah, I've heard, uh, they call her Linda. She walks up and down the stairs that go from the first to the second floor. She just kind of hangs out right there by the railing. You usually get a really good reading on your K2 meter, and she's never really, she's always been friendly, but she just kind of walks back and forth, back and forth, and you'd be at the right spot at the right time to catch her. And there's been a lot of deaths when this was being built, actually, oh, too, yes. right? Oh, yes. There was, there was several, several deaths while it was being built. Um, there was actually up on the second floor, they were pouring the concrete, and one of the guys fell in. And it's like is that near where the whirlpool is? Um, I'm not sure. Not sure exact area? I know it was up on the second floor somewhere. Right. And um, the, the guy fell in the concrete, and one of his buddies tried to help him, and then he fell in, too. And it's like quicksand, so oh. they couldn't do anything. So they just kind of had a moment of silence and they just kept on working because there wasn't anything to do for them. <laughs> wasn't any OSHA back then, was it? Oh, no. <laughs> that's you know, that's pretty wild. Well, you went through it we, in the safety check this afternoon. What was your feelings on it, Mark? I felt that it's a very uh, interesting place for sure. I mean, it's, it's, you could tell it's, it's got age on it and you could tell it's got uh, just a feeling about it that's just so different from other locations that I've been previously so I think it's going to be an interesting night really and we've also seen the TV shows that had there's like I'm on a catwalk or something but it's um, something above with whirlpool is what's it called yeah, it's like a kind of like a sentry post they so would go up there and they just kind of look out over it make sure everybody was following the right procedures and being safe about everything they were doing it's kind of just a lookout for the managers to stand up there and that's where the um, thermal footage was captured of the apparition or whatever you want to call it that moved oh, across yeah. up there with only one other person up there right you know so so we're, i mean we're gonna probably put some cameras in there uh what's another hot spot in here there's was it a hang um, yeah up on the second floor if you go to the second floor and you go all the way to the left there is um a room down there and then behind it is where they had some converters and they have a, a hank is his name and he kind of hangs out right there at the doorway and I don't know if he used to work in there or if he did not a whole lot of information work. on him, huh? Not really. But he he's very friendly and he just wants to reach out to somebody. He he actually came by me one night and I felt the chill and it was really? like, oh gosh. That's, and you that's, had that's a good thing because we have a lot of equipment we're gonna be using in there. SLS, K two, you know, spirit yeah. box, uh, you know, um, REM pod, um, detectors so we're gonna really try to catch we're gonna try to saturate the place yeah, and see what we can come up with definitely try to catch something and you know get something on camera for sure and that's how i knew he was there was my k2 was going crazy and the whole tour had moved ahead of me mm. and i was like hank are you here are you, are you hanging out with me and then all of a sudden i felt that chill and then my shoulder started burning mm -hmm. and i actually had a, a red mark come up across my shoulder blade oh wow yes yeah, so she yeah. was telling me a while ago so I mean, it, was, it really freaked me out, I guess so. <laughs> but I'm okay. I'm okay now. It, it took me a while to go back up there, but I bet, I bet. have there been any negative energy? There's been a curse placed on it, right? Yes, the um, the Indian chief, Dragon Canoe, he placed, placed a curse on it when they took the land from the Indians. He told them that it's no good is ever going to come of this land, and sure enough, they worked on this dam for. 10 plus years and it never produced what they needed it to Worked produce. on a damn dam? 
I'm sorry I had to say that. <laughs> it was inevitable, yeah, huh? Yeah, they worked on a damn thing. So. Yeah. But it's out of the way now. Yeah, they, they worked on it. They had the private company and then TVA, and just nobody could get it to produce the amount of energy they needed. And so, so it was in production and for, what, maybe 100 years or, you know? I don't even know if it was that long. Oh, it was yeah. a little bit shorter, huh? Okay, well, we're eager to get in. Like I said, we've had a little bit of setbacks. We're probably going to grab us a little bit of bite to eat, and then we're going to we're going to go in and we're going to put equipment out and see what we can find, you know, hopefully yeah. that, you know, we can trigger something, you know, to come out and talk to us or, and we've, we've seen some pictures too, that I was showed a picture this afternoon, Storm had showed me one. Um, hopefully I can get a copy and I'll um, show it to everybody here. And, and it's my opinion of it. It looks like a apparition or you see arms and legs and a head in my opinion. Uh, we're going to go and see if we can actually find that location and see if it's maybe matricing or anything of that type. It, it looks pretty convincing. Uh, okay, guys, uh, I want to introduce y'all to Mark, too. Mark is our newest member to Southern Paranormal, and we're, we're glad to have him. He's been on, let's see, what was it, the first one you went with us uh, on? The first one was Nashville. Nashville, uh, the military hospital in Nashville. Memphis. Memphis, sorry. Yep, yeah, Memphis. Memphis. And so, yeah. He fit right in and, you know, so uh, we had to have him with us. I so, appreciate y'all taking you know. it on. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's do what we do best. <laughs>